Hey, good morning. I'm Buzz. I haven't talked to you for a while. I just realized that I had not done a recap of the New Hampshire Open. This was first time I've played the New Hampshire Open, and uh, it's a wonderful little golf tournament. This year, and I don't know whether it's a rotating schedule of, of uh, venues or whether it just consistently plays at Manchester Country Club. I'm okay either way. If, if it's going to be, if it's going to continue to be at Manchester Country Club, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, wonderful golf course, 1923 Donald Ross golf course, which I love, um, having grown up on a 1924 Donald Ross golf course. So you could definitely see some similarities. Um, biggest difference was the greens in Manchester are big. Uh, do not have big golf, uh, do not have big greens at the golf course that I grew up on. Uh, not particularly tiny either, just not big. So, um, I had some expectation going in of what this would kind of play like. Um, not super long, though definitely has some good holes. Um, the expectation for me was that the greens would be you know, one of the biggest defenses that the course had. And that really ended up, at least for me, uh, that ended up being kind of the case. First day, I'm gonna wrap it up into two things. I'm gonna, so I'm, we're gonna talk about the first two days because uh, the first two days looks very, very similar. Um, I shot 70, one seventy-three, which was even in two over um, the first two days, and I hit thirty-two out of thirty-six greens in regulation. So what does that tell you right off the bat? I didn't make any. Like I could not. I couldn't kick it in, and that's super frustrating when you're hitting the ball that good. Um, had 14 legit birdie opportunities in the first two days, and I made a whopping two birdies. So it is a testament to kind of the the way I was striking the ball to be able to make a cut having made only two birdies. That part was good, but man, talk about talk about the things that could have been. Um, it started out primarily just couldn't get the reads. And this is really what I expected from Donald Ross golf course. I mean, Donald Ross courses notoriously have tough greens. This one is no exception. And maybe I shouldn't have thought going in that I was going to have a hard time reading greens. And maybe I brought it about just by thinking about it. But, um, yeah, so tough go on the greens I actually got blanked for birdies in the second round we had uh, I was in the, the wrong wave uh, the guys that played uh, late early were fortunate that they were able to play without any weather issues uh, we played early late and we had a monsoon the last six holes um, so this is funny, right? So, uh, they call it the, the skies open up. The weather radar looks terrible. There's some rumbles and thunder. And so they call us in and we sit around for about an hour or so as it just down pours. I mean, it is just absolutely pouring. It's not just a, not just a nice constant rain. This is, this is absolutely coming down. So a couple of us are sitting around and we're talking about how there's absolutely no chance we're gonna go back out because the golf course is gonna be completely soaked. And at 4.45, guy from the New Hampshire Golf Association steps out and says, okay guys, everybody's gonna be back in position at five o'clock and be ready to hit it. And I look at my watch and it's 4.45. We've been sitting around for over an hour. So nobody has any chance to get warm back up again. 
And I kept waiting for him to say, nah, just kidding, you guys can go. We'll finish this up tomorrow. Right? Yeah, no, they sent us right back out there. It was boring. They are like, there's no lightning. Golf course is draining. Go play golf. We were already playing it up in the fairways, which was absolutely an inspired call. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was boring. Good news is my new rain jacket works awesome. Uh, nice fit, very comfortable, keeps the water off. Really good. So, yeah, the first two days were definitely an adventure. Uh, the last day was was just kind of a kind of a debacle. Um, I started out not hitting it very well uh, the last day, and that really didn't help my situation a lot because I also, even though I switched putters, I didn't really see much change. Um, it was not from a lack of trying. Uh, so I made a couple of mistakes early and then, uh, I got the swing back, swing kind of finally decided to click in and started hitting it pretty good. And then trying to stay aggressive. I mean, look, I was 10 shots back starting the last day. It's not like I was going to make a run at contention for this thing. So, um, I'm using it primarily as a way to kind of build toward the next event. And, uh, went, you know, started to play reasonably aggressive, trying to actually make some birdies since I hadn't made any the day before. Uh, and I hit, <laughs> I hit a couple of really solid wedge shots that missed their target distances by like three feet. And when you play old school golf courses, usually the worst place in the world to be is long. Yeah. So I made two doubles. And just terrible. Just, just terrible, terrible, terrible. So anyway, I did not play very well the last round. And uh, legitimately, it, it didn't make a whole lot of difference. I mean, I could have shot I think five shots better and I probably would have made another $100, $125, something like that. So it's not necessarily always about the money. Uh, I mean, I like playing for money, but uh, I like to compete and I like to play well and I like to put up good numbers. So, you know, uh, overall the experience was good. Manchester Country Club is fantastic. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that it'll still be at their facility next year because uh, I certainly liked it. Uh, I just don't know. I'm not sure. I know that the uh, Massachusetts one moves around and I know Pennsylvania one moves around. So it is quite possible that the uh, New Hampshire one moves around too, which is fine. Uh, I like playing new places as well. So anyhow, um, a new putter has been acquired so we will see what that brings about if it brings about anything uh, next event up for me is the Pennsylvania Open and it is at the Philadelphia Cricket Club the Wissahickon course which uh, looks, looks to be solid looks to be very solid apparently it's fairly difficult which I prefer and if I can make some putts I can keep hitting it the way I've been hitting it maybe we can get into contention on this one we shall see anyhow I hope everybody's having a wonderful summer I hope everybody's staying safe feeling good golf swings going well putting better than me you know I hope uh I hope everybody's just out there having a good time because that's what uh, that's what it's supposed to be. You know, I'm having a good time. I, you know, I didn't play great but made the cut. There were 156 players and 40 guys made the cut. So uh, it's not like I'm out there having the worst possible time. I'm out there having a good time. So anyway, that's it for the New Hampshire Open. I will reap. 
report back after the Pennsylvania Open. And I'll try and do it in a little bit more timely fashion than I did this one. All right. Take it easy, folks. Thanks for following along. And uh, be safe.